Uh, today's topic, we stick, of course, we still continuing to talk about the differences between a man and a female, between a man and a woman. Uh, those differences are so many that I've been talking for, I've been talking almost two weeks now, and I'm not near finishing. I'm not near finishing. So what makes a man different from a woman? What makes a man different from a woman? Yeah, that's uh, what we're going to be looking at today. We're going to be looking at the difference between a man and a woman. What makes us different? What makes us different? Well, one of the things that make us different is that uh, <laughs> uh, how do I say this now? A man makes his needs clear. A man most of the time will Okay, let me say this. One of the things that make us different is in the way we present our needs and our desires. Men and women present their needs and desires in different ways and different manners. So a man, in most of the cases, will come straight. A man is a straight shooter. A man is a straight shooter. A man will most likely tell you what he needs, especially if he needs that thing from you. So a man states his needs clearly. A man mentions what he, what he needs. A man tells you what he needs. A man makes his request clear, makes his request clear. But a woman, she can make a request clear but especially if you are having a relationship with her, if you are, let's say, husband and wife, a, a lady does not always, if she really loves you and you are in a relationship, a woman might not always tell you directly what her needs are. She wants to make you to figure it out. She wants to, she's expecting you to figure it out. She's expecting you to figure out what our needs are. So, so that is one area where we're a little bit different. Uh, a woman is thinking in her mind, if he really loves me, he should be able to see. Can't he see what I, what, what I, what I need, can't he see my problem? Can't he see my situation? Can't, can't he see? Now, of course, a lot of women have gotten smart and a lot of women have learned the lesson that you've got to talk. And if you don't talk, the man will not get what you are talking about and the man will not always um, suspect or always figure out what you need. But this, what this, the things I'm talking about are the standards. These are the things that are natural to the ladies. Now, somebody could come on now and say, no, I, I say what I need. I always speak my mind. Yes. Maybe you've learned to do that. But naturally, it's easier for the lady to wait it's more natural for the lady to kind of not to, not to be too upfront with our need and our request uh, from the man. She has that need, but she is a little bit delaying it, waiting for him to see for himself what her needs are. Because she's thinking, but he loves me. If he loves me, he should be able to see what, I, what my needs are. And also, she's thinking, let me try and see how much commitment he has for me. Because a lady needs affirmation most of the time. 
And this is one of the way that she is uh, waiting for affirmation. She is looking for affirmation. She wants to be sure of her disposition to you or of your disposition to her. She wants to be really sure that what she believes of you is true. That what you are telling her is true. That if you say you love her, if you say she's special to you, if you say she means someone different, I mean someone unique to you, if she is truly different and unique to you, that you will care more to find out what her needs are. That you are supposed to show interest. You shouldn't be waiting for her to be coming to you to beg you to do something for her. And she's now say, she's thinking if you are the, if you really care for her, if you really love her, that you are supposed to see what her problems are, what her needs are, and you are supposed to naturally respond to her and naturally respond to her need and naturally cover uh, for her and you know meet those needs for her without waiting for her to come and be telling you and begging you to do something for her now if your relationship has been you've been long and you are used to each other and you know of course a lady could just come out and you know tell you what she needs and all that but it's not you know, it's not a best, it's not a right choice. It's not a best choice. She initially would like you to be the one to reach out to her. She wants to be the one uh, to, she wants you to be the one to, you know, see what her needs are and to really reach out to meeting those needs. She wants to, to, to actually, you know, a little bit keep quiet and see how much you care for her. Because when you notice the need of the girl, for her, it means that you are looking after her. It means that you are noticing her. It means that you are watching after her. It means that you are not indifferent to her. It means that she, she matters to you. You care about her. And because you care about her, you are watching after her. You are looking after her. And you are, uh, uh, you know, there for her to always notice, to be the first one to notice what her problems are, what her needs are, and to be the first one to respond to those needs, and to be the first one to, you know, tell her and be there for her and help her out of that problem that she is in. But, 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 but when you don't see, when you don't seem to see or notice her problems or a pro a situation, when you just pass by and you never notice her, you never notice what her challenges are, and you never notice what her problems are, a lady gets so discouraged. A lady gets broken and she begins to think in herself that you don't really love her. Because if you had loved her, you would have noticed that she's, she's having this problem or the other. If you have really loved her, that you should have been able to tell that she, she, she I mean, you should be able to see. She expects you to see uh, what her needs her. She expects you to be able to not just see, but to respond to those needs and to really show that you care for her. Because remember, uh, for a lady, uh, a, an love for a lady, love for a lady is not just what it is for the man. And what love is for the man is sex. And the lady is not waiting for you to come and have sex with her if you cannot even respond to her elementary need that she has now. If you are not even careful enough or attentive enough to see that she is in trouble, that she is having challenges and to offer to help her, you're not even offering to help her. You're not even reaching out to her to tell her you see what she's going through and try to support her in what she's having. You did not respond to her needs. You did not respond to her situation. You did not respond to her trouble. And you just want to sleep with her? A lady feels horrible in that situation. A lady feels like you don't love her. A lady feels that you, only, you are only there to use her. A lady is feeling that you just want to take. You just want to take something for yourself. You just want to you know, explore her. Or, uh, but not really to love her. Because for her, a sign of love is that you are so 
careful with her. You are so attentive to her and you are so detailed with her and you are so, mm, no, you, you wash out for her so much that you are able to see the neat, little needs she has, she, the, the trouble she is in, and you are able to pay attention to her and you are able to, you know, offer your support and offer your help to help her out of that situation where she is in. That is a better sign of love than just want to sleep with her. So a lady wants you to find out a need by yourself. A lady is waiting for you to tell, to, to tell her that you notice her our problems that you notice our situation and that you know why she's feeling the way she's she's feeling and that you are there to understand her and that you are there uh you know to help her as well so that is the way a lady is expecting you to respond to her needs and to her problems why the man on the other hand is not expecting you to 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 suspect uh and to know by yourself what a man, what a, what his needs are. A man knows that he has to tell you what uh, his needs are. That if he doesn't tell you, you will not know. So that's how a man thinks. And in a marriage, sometimes in a marriage relationship, sometimes uh, you know it's often that you hear this kind of conversation. The woman is blaming the man, saying that he is not looking out for her and is not noticing what her problems are. And it's not responding to her needs. But the man, on the other hand, is complaining and blaming the lady and saying, what do you mean I don't see your problems? What do you mean I don't respond to your problems? How can I know what your problems are? You didn't tell me you have a problem. You did, did you tell me you have a problem? And I never responded to it? You never told me you have a problem. If you told me you have a problem, I would have responded to it. But you didn't say anything. If you had said it, I would have responded. But you never said it. You never said you had a problem. If you have a problem, let me know. How do you expect me to know about your problems? How do you expect me to know what you're going through? How do you expect me to know what's in your head? And then the lady will be saying, I mean the man will be saying, but I'm not an angel. I'm not a mind reader. I don't read your mind. I don't, I don't, uh... I can know what is going on in your life. I can know what problems you are you have. I don't know what challenge you have. I, how can I know it? I'm not the Holy Spirit. I don't live in you. And that is the man's response and the man's attitude to a situation like that when the woman is thinking, but can't you see that I have this need? If you really love me, you're supposed to have noticed that I have the needs. And there's a reason for that. Again, we are going to go back to our <laughs> usual suspect. We are going to go back to the photographs that we normally use. I'm going to demonstrate this to you in this photograph for you to see uh, why this kind of dichotomy, why this big difference between how a man perceives life and how a woman perceives life. Why is it that the lady wants you to suspect about her need to guess and to know what her needs her and why is it that you cannot guess it and uh, so what happens is that you see the woman the woman has all her body, all her system built in together the intuition, the emotions, the feelings the everything is all wrapped up together so one thing is affecting the other. So whatever is happening to the, to the, in, the, in her mind is happening in her feelings. Whatever is happening in her feeling is happening to all of her body. She's feeling everything she's going through. So she's thinking, since she could feel everything on every level, that you are supposed to be feeling. And you are also supposed to notice what she's going through. But the problem with the man is, he's so separated. His mind is separated from his feeling. His feeling is separated from his, from his mind. His emotions is separated from his heart. Every, his um, heart is separated from his body. Everything is separated. So if you don't tell him, he doesn't know what is going on here. If you don't inform him what is going on here, he doesn't know. So you have to tell him to know. 
He doesn't just automatically feel or knows what's going on in other parts of the body. But for the woman, she automatically has the connection to whatever she's going through in all a part of the body. And so she's expecting you to easily find out. But the man cannot easily find out because things are is wired totally differently. Totally differently. So, <laughs> so the woman and the lady is thinking, but it's so obvious. It's so obvious that I am tired. It's so obvious that I'm sick. It's so obvious that I don't have the mood. It's so obvious that I have these problems, that I have this need. Why is it that it's not saying it? So the woman, <laughs> the woman comes to the conclusion that he doesn't love me. <laughs> That's what she says. She says, it means he doesn't love me. If he cannot see this needs, <laughs> if he cannot see this needs, how can we talk about loving me? Where is the love? If he is not speaking this, if it's not seeing this, if it's not even seeing <laughs> my elementary need that is so obvious, what kind of love are we talking about? It means it doesn't care for me, it doesn't love me. And then, sometimes, later on, much later, when everything is becoming so obvious, <laughs> then the man comes and says, are you okay? <laughs> How are you feeling? Are you okay? Ah, then the lady then begins to say, yes, I'm okay. So, and the man just turns around and goes away. <laughs> and she gets more annoyed and she gets more crazy. He's even gone away. He's come to ask, am I okay? Instead of him to stay with me, <laughs> instead of him to stay with me, why did he come to ask if I'm okay? If he's not going to stay with me, if he's not going to, you know, support me, if he's not going to be there for me, he, he, he asked if I'm okay and he just turned around and went. But the problem with the man is that when he's asking, are you okay? He's expecting you to tell him what is happening. He's expecting you to tell him that you are not okay. <laughs> he's expecting you to tell him that, okay, I have a headache or I have a bad mood or this thing is troubling me, these are my challenges and things like that. Since you didn't say it like that as a lady, you didn't tell her that, that, you, are, that, you, uh, that you are sick or that things, some things are bothering you and you just told her, you know, I'm okay. Since you said you are okay, he believed your words. That is the problem with the man. The man is not, he's not experiencing your feelings. The man is not feeling what you are feeling. He is not feeling it. He is not seeing your feelings. He doesn't know what, the fe what feelings are. And he doesn't know what, what, what's going on inside of you. He only knows information by what he hears. He only knows your words. He only believes your word. So if you said you are okay, but he didn't even know that you said you are okay just to... No, it's a sarcasm. A sarcasm to let him know that, can't you see, are you blind? Can't you see that I'm not okay? You are still asking. That is what the lady is trying to say. But the man doesn't know. He just said, she said she's okay. I think she might be sick or she, she's not looking great. But I asked her. And she said she's okay. Since she said she's okay, she knows better. If she says she's okay, okay. It means she's okay. It means she doesn't need my help. <laughs> and the man just turns back and goes. <laughs> then the woman gets really mad and begins to think this man doesn't doesn't love me and all that and all that. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So that's the difference between a man and a woman right there. It's a big one. It's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how you people are responding. <laughs> Let me see what you are saying. 
Miranda said, Pastor, you are a blessing to, human, to humanity. Thank you. Tim says, wow, wow, this is, this is awesome. Men see love in terms of sex and ladies see love in terms of attention, is it? Protection and being sensitive to their needs. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, Pastor Jashigo Wafo said, Pastor, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. Thank you. Nkiro said, you better say it, ladies. They don't feel it. They don't know until you say it. It is, ba it is say it, baby, say it. <laughs> Emily, Emily York said, shouldn't women be taught to be more communicative? Well, that's why I'm, I'm pointing this out and I'm underlining this point over and over again. I don't see how this is helping to improve marital relationships. I don't think we should all put everyone in a box and say, this is how you are. Well, <laughs> there are some basic tendencies that both men and women have and it's helpful to know. Joseph says, good morning, doctor. It's been an enlightening session, uh, though very sensitive topic, but it's worth it. Exact knowledge brings total freedom, right? Uh, Shigo says, we women think it's all obvious what we are going through. Uh, Isi Okeaya says, wow, wow, wow. Pastor, you are just too much on this matter. Thank God for your ministry in times of the, like this. For sure, homes are receiving healing right now. Rochelle White says, my eyes have opened so much. And Shioma is saying, Pastor, please, I need clarifications here on why the men go the extra mile to find out these needs before they get married. But after marriage, it is the woman that needs to follow up. Well, the man is the hunter. The man is the hunter. Before he marries, he's, uh, he, he wants to win you over. Before the marriage, he wants to win. The, the one great desire of the man is that he must win. So he's always trying to win. He's always uh, striving to win. So he needs to win the girl. He, he, he say, he, a man has his target before him, and he wants to reach that target by all means. He wants to subdue that goal. And so you are the goal when, he, when he's dating you. He wants to subdue you. And that's why he would do everything to do that, to subdue and, and finding out, going the extra mile. But now that you belong to him, he, you know, familiarity brings content. He, he, he gets used to it and he just thinks if you need anything, you now say. <laughs> Uh, Yikart Nipif Binipilif says, okay, if that is the case, why are men acting like they know everything as if they have figured out everything? Men are acting as if they, are, they know everything in the sense that they need it for their pride. The man needs to show that he knows everything to, to, for his status, for his ego's sake. He needs to show forth that he's, he's smart, he's big, but he doesn't prove to know what you are going through. A man would not claim that he knows what is going on in your heart. Shingwei says, this is so true of our expectations, and that is my response as a woman. <laughs> Shigo said, Pastor, you know these things for real. <laughs> M. M. Christine says, it's so true, Pastor. Uh, e. C. O. K. I. I said, I always hear it from husbands that I am not a mind reader. Yep, that's what the men say. <laughs> but for the women, it's so frustrating. Okay. Uh -huh. 
let's see uh, Nayo says, we tend to assume that he should know what I want. Meanwhile, men don't work on assumptions. <laughs> they want us to communicate our needs and feelings. Yep, you're right. Nkiro Ujimadu says, when a lady just says that she's okay, that is trouble. <laughs> it means she's in, she thinks I'm not okay. <laughs> um, Kiru says, so to marry a woman, a man must be a magician, right? <laughs> you can't believe what me you look like. Me, he said, okay, once you said you are okay, <laughs> it means you are okay. <laughs> yeah. Off I go. <laughs> now, once she says she's okay, then I believe you that you're okay. I'm going to work. <laughs> that is the men's mentality. <laughs> but she's expecting you to stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this kind of difference has broken a lot of marriages. Yeah. Omonike said that is true. If a man does not know the feelings of his woman, the woman would definitely think the man does not care. But now, I know that the man does not know. Thanks so much for this teaching, Pastor Sunday. God bless you. He didn't know, of course, he does not know, unless you say it. <laughs> Yet today said, even when you tell him you are feeling ill, he will say, go and see the doctor, because I am not one. So why keep quiet, speak out, up, ladies? Yeah, because... He doesn't, you know, when you tell him that you are feeling bad or you are, you are ill, he is thinking of the solution. Man is more solution-oriented, answer-oriented. And he knows that if you are ill, that the doctor will do a better job getting you healed, getting you cured than he would do. But what he doesn't know is that, it, it, that a, a woman needs companionship at, the, at any time she's feeling bad. What a man doesn't know is that no matter what the need is, the very first response of a man must be to come and cuddle her, to come and support her, to come and be there for her, to hug her, to, you know, to, to, to support her, to, to just touch her and to make her know that she is, she is needed at that point and that she is loved at that point. And before you call the doctor, be there for her. That is one thing that the men don't know, and that's why we must talk about it. And as Anastasia, as a pastor, you are a psychologist and a psychiatrist, a counselor, all rolled into one. <laughs> uh, Ujolakwe said, assumptions are the downfall of any relationship. Historically, we think it is the other party's assumption of the situation, but your teaching is revealing to us that it is our own assumption that is the issue. Only knowing and understanding the nature of men and women can give us the right attitude and strategy in navigating life's relationships. Theodore says, I thought women like to talk about everything, so their husbands, to their husbands, so why do they tend to hide these important feelings and expect men to figure it out? <laughs> well, that's why I'm telling you about the difference in the makeup of man and woman. The woman is thinking that what she's going through, especially when she's in trouble, is so obvious. And it's an opportunity for her to know how the man cares and how much the man loves her. Because if I'm feeling bad, I don't need to tell you. That is so obvious. You are supposed to see that I'm feeling bad and respond to that. And that's why the woman is not talking about that. A woman will normally talk, you know, when, when she's in a good mood to talk. But when she's feeling bad, she's expecting you to see what her needs are. Uh, 
yet today is saying big difference here, but communication is essential. Uh, otherwise, you are on your own. But Dr. Adelaja, how come we know, we women know what they want? What they want? Are we magicians? No, because just your nature. The nature of the woman is that she, she feels things intuitively. A woman can read what is going on through her intuition and her emotions. Like I said yesterday, I spoke about intuition yesterday. You have intuition, but we don't have it. The woman have intuition, she has feeling, but men don't have it. So that is the difference. We don't have it. We, I spoke about that yesterday. We only, you know, men only take decisions and understand reality through what we know, through our knowledge, through our experience, and through fact. That is the only way man understands life. And that's the only thing that we use to take decisions as well. But the women understand life not just through what the facts are saying or what their experience are, but the women understand life also through our feelings, through our emotions, through our expectations, and through our, our, our intuitions. So women are understanding life from within, while men are understanding life from outside. Yo Sola Adegun said, amazing. I'm currently writing about this. I believe God wants this knowledge there. Our greatest failures is the evidence of our great ignorance. We, well done, sir. My question and amazement is why did God create us this different and what I want us married? Just wondering. Well, I already answered that question in my, ser in my previous series. So you need to go and listen to some of the other series I did last week or two weeks ago. Akin Sugar said, your simplicity is so, so childlike and God bless you. Uh, I read one of your books years ago, Insightful, Money Won't Make You Rich. That's the title of the book, right? Phyllis Smith said, Pastor, I've been a widow for over a year now, and this is still a great topic to hear. I was married for 40 years. This would have been a great help. Uh, God bless you all who are listening to you. God bless all those who have been listening to you. Okay, so we understand that now, that men like to speak directly uh, what they need, what their needs are, and you know they they don't expect you to read the mind. They, they don't expect no men don't read the mind of somebody, and they don't expect you to read their mind. Also, they tell you what their problems are, what their needs are. But the woman expect you to be able to read the situation and be able to see, see, see things for yourself and be able to uh, tell you know respond to whatever situation they are going through without them telling you. Now, the next point, next thing that differentiates a man from a woman that we all need to know, another thing that differentiates a woman that, from a man that we, we all need to know is that a woman uh, expects the man to lead. A woman expects her husband or the man in her life to take the lead. A woman expects the man to take the decision. A woman is waiting and expecting the man not just to take the decision but to take the lead in crucial matters. So if there are some decisions that need to be taken, the woman is looking forward to the man to take those decisions. The woman is looking forward for the man to lead and she will gladly follow. Now, there are a lot of people who say that women always want to be a leader, but it's not true. Women begin to show, uh, women begin to try to be problematic 
only when the man refuses to lead. When they, when they are waiting, when the woman is waiting for the man to lead and the man is not leading, then she begins to cause crisis. She begins to be hysterical and she begins to get irritated and, and wonder uh, what is happening. Why is he not doing it? So because she's expecting him to do it and to lead, and when she's not, when he's not leading like that, that's when she begins to, you know, she's forced to react. She's forced to say something, to respond, and to, and if you are not still leading, then, you know, she's forced to be, to take the leadership and begin to, to, to lead. It's not always easy for the woman to lead. It's not always easy for the woman to take the decision. You know, sometimes men think, that the woman want to take the decision. Why is it that she or she is always pushing for something to be done? It's not because she wants to take the decision. It's because she is trying to tell you to take the decision. So every time she's trying to say something or do something, it is a way of making you to take to do something about it. And it is when you don't do something that's when she does it. So, um, so every man that is listening to me here, you should know that it is not easy for the woman to take decisions. It is not easy for the woman to, uh, to lead. And the reason is this. Let's look into this diagram again. You see that this is the woman here. Why is it difficult for her to lead? Because she's having mixed emotions and feelings. Everything is in her at the same time. She's having thousands of thoughts, thousands of decisions to make. She's having thousands of ideas. So it is difficult for her to know which one to follow. She's hearing hundreds of voices at the same time and different ideas. Our emotions are telling us something. Our feelings are telling us another thing. Our heart is telling us another thing. Our mind is telling us another thing. So all these things are communicating to her at the same time. But, so that's why she's expecting somebody to come like the man. The man, everything is separate. Our emotions, our emotions, emotions and feelings and mind, everything is separated. So it's easier for him to take the decision and to take the lead. So it's difficult for the woman to take the lead because she doesn't know where to go and how to go because her emotions are going all directions. Her emotions are everywhere. Her emotions are, go, 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 are going in all directions. A woman is always having a crisis, a crisis of choice, a crisis of choice. So she's always, okay, let's, let, let's, let me take this as an example here. This is a good example here. You see the lady is crying. This lady is crying because she needs to go out. She needs to go out and these are her clothes and dresses. And she's saying, I don't have anything to wear. <laughs> I don't know what to wear. She don't, she's complaining that she doesn't have what to wear. She's crying. And this man is having, just having one. He said, ah, you say you don't have what to wear? <laughs> What you have is enough for me for the rest of my life to wear. So he, he doesn't care. He, he, he is wondering what's wrong with her. She doesn't know. It's because everything is mixed up in her. She's considering so many things. She's having so many considerations. So it's not easy for her to lead. That's why she's expecting him to come and ask her questions and give her, give her some advice and tell her and give her leadership and give her, you know, so, uh, some instructions and lead her in the way and tell her what to do. He's expecting the man to give the instruction to her. That is why it's not easy for the woman to lead. The woman needs help because she's always so confused. And the reason for that is because she's having so many emotions at the same time. 
You see, she's having all these emotions at the same time. She's all the emotions are going through her. So when she's having a choice to make, it's confusion time for her. She needs somebody's advice. She needs somebody to tell her something, to come and discuss with her, to ask her questions, and to you know, give her some suggestions on way to go forward. So a woman it doesn't want to be the leader in the family. A woman is not waiting. She doesn't want to take the place of the husband. It's not easy for her. That's why a woman always needs a man in her life. A woman always needs a friend or a husband or a father or a man that will be able to advise her. A woman is always in need of advice. She, you know, even though it's like, they, you know, they are behaving as if they know everything. It's like they are behaving as if, you know, they can do everything and they are ready to do everything. But the problem is that they are forced to do that when the men are not acting. It is because of the lack of action of the men. It's because the men are not doing anything. They are not taking decisions. That is why they are forced to do something. Because, you know, things, time is going or the children are suffering or the family is suffering. And when nobody is doing anything, that's when she begins to take the decision and the authority in her hand and begin to do something. But naturally, she doesn't want to do anything. You know, she, she wants to do many things, but she wants somebody to lead her, to tell her what to do, to guide her. So the woman needs leadership. And that is why God told, and that is why uh, God told, this is the very reason why God told the man to be the head of the family. This is the reason why the man is the head of the family. The man is the head of the family because it's easier for 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 it's easier for him to take a decision than it is for for her. Uh, let me see if I could give you another example like that. Now, this is, this is the man here. This is the man going to the store to buy things, to do shopping. He just goes through, buys what he needs, and he goes out. Either yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no. He's going. He, pick, he sees something. Yes or no. Yes or no. No or yes. Yes or no. That's what a decision the man needs to make. Yes or no. Yes or no. Go in, go out. But look at the woman. When she, this is the morning, she needs to do shopping. See all things going on in her mind. And this one is going here, full, 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 full. Everything is connected. Everything is interconnected. Every, all different thoughts. To her, they are all one thought. But there are so many fragments to it. And the money, she has the money. See what is happening. This is the man's head. And this is the woman's head. See what's happening in her head. All these things happening in her head. So it's not easy for her to take a decision. And he is just yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. <laughs> that is why we need to help our women. And that is why women, women need the men to be men. Women need leaders. Women need their husband to be real men. And women want to follow and marry a man that is really a man, that is strong. Women always like uh, strong men. Men that are able to take decisions. Men that know what they want to do. Men that, you know, have clarity in their mind. Men that can take decisions. Men that can take leadership. So one of the things that a, one, a woman needs in her life is leadership. She wants a strong man that is able to take leadership. So to marry for a woman, it means to, to go and get married to somebody who is a leader. Every woman needs a leader. Every woman needs a man. A man that will take decisions. A man, 
not just to take decision by himself, but a man that will ask questions from the, from the woman, a man that will discuss with the woman, discuss with her, hear her out, and then before she takes, I mean, he takes a, a decision. A, woman, a man that will always advise her and give her leadership, give, give her uh, uh, direction. That is the kind of man that a, a, a woman needs in her life. If a, if a man is not going to be a leader, a woman doesn't need him. If a man is not going to give direction, a woman doesn't need him. If a man is not going to lead, that woman, that man is useless. And that man is headache to the woman. And that man is, is, is causing more problem to the woman than the, than the problem itself. Because the woman house is already having her problems in her mind. She's already having so many problems already of how to take a shot, how to make a decision, or how to, you no, know, to you know, choose something to take, take a choice or make a choice. So if the woman, if the man that is supposed to be there to help her and to give her direction and leadership is not doing it, it's like, you are adding to her problems. It's like you are becoming a complication for her. So <laughs> a man, a woman needs a man in her life to lead. A woman needs a, 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 a man in her life who will give direction to her. Thank you and God bless you.